let's add custom signs to Minecraft. Fortune Fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom signs to a Minecraft. Now, adding signs is... Uh, how shall I put it lightly, uh, very convoluted. So there is going to be similar to how we added, you know, custom block entities. The sign is actually also a block entity and it's going to be quite convoluted once again. So it's going to be very circular, but no worries at all. We're going to do it. And the good thing about it is that if you have done it once, once again, adding more is actually fairly straightforward. The first thing we're going to need in the entity package is one new class, and that is going to be the mod wood types. And here we're going to define a new wood type. So there's going to be a public static wood type called ebony, and that's going to be equal to wood type dot create, of course, called ebony. There you go. This is going to be very important later down the line, but for the time being, we definitely need this. So then what we're also going to need is we're going to need a new custom class in the custom entity package right here. So this is going to be the mod sign block entity. Funnily enough, this is actually not going to be that complicated. This will extend the sign block entity. And we're going to hover over this, create constructor matching super, and then we'll overwrite the get type method right here. We're going to purposefully make an error so that we don't forget to, you know, add this in here because what we want to do is we want to add this in the block entities, but first we actually need the custom block. And for the custom blocks, we actually need custom block classes. Like I said, it's very circular and there's, you know, quite a few steps. Each individual step is not that complicated, but overall, you know, it can get quite, um, what we say, annoying um, at sometimes. So mod standing sign block, which extends the standing sign block. Funnily enough, which is going to hover over this create constructor matching super. And then what we also want to do is we want to make a uh, override the new block entity method. And here we just want to return a new mod sign block entity, passing in the position and the state. And then we also need the mod wall sign block, very important here, which of course extends the wall sign block. Once again, hover over this create constructor matching super. And then we'll once again, the new block entity method override that one as well. And we'll make once again, a new mod sign block passing in the position and the state. And now we actually never have to look at either of those classes ever again, which is very interesting. And now we can add the sign to our mod block entities class as well. So let's just copy this over. It's going to make this a little bit easier. We want to change this to the mod sign block entity. And then this one here as well. This is of course, then the sign block entities there you go and we're going to call this the sign block entity and then the actual blocks here are going to be changed to well the ebony wall sign and the ebony sign which we have to create so let's once again make a uh, error here make an error here so that we don't forget to add this and then let's add both of these signs right here let's actually take the sampling and let's just make an ebony wall sign now, what's very important is that those are register without a block item. So very important that you keep that in mind. And then we actually don't need this right here. And this is going to be the ebony underscore wall underscore sign. And then this is the mod wall sign block, which actually takes in the properties first. And then as its second parameter, it's going to take in the wood type. So this is going to be mod wood types dot ebony. And then let's actually duplicate this one because that's going to make it a little bit easier this is the ebony sign and of course the ebony sign here as well. And this is then the mod standing sign block. And then let's also copy this from the actual correct signs here just so that we have this as well. And there you go. So that should be the blocks registered without block item. Very important that we keep this in mind. And now we can call both of them right here. So we can say mod blocks dot the wall sign first. It doesn't actually matter what the order here is in this case and then here we can put the normal sign in dot get and then just close it like that there you go that should be fine and then we can also return this right here so we're going to return mod block entities dot sign block entities dot get and with that this class is also completed and now what we need to do is we need to go into our tutorial mod package and register the wood types properly 
So what we're going to do is in the setup method right here, what we want to call here is we're going to call sheets dot add wood type mod wood types dot ebony. And in the client method, what we want to do is we want to go in here and let's just add it right here. So this is going to be the wood type dot register mod wood types dot ebony. And then also incredibly important, we want to go for the block entity renderer. Uh, render us yes actually register mod block entities dot sign block entity dot get and then the sign renderer colon colon new also incredibly important don't forget to add that as well and now we are almost completely done so those are all of the steps right here we still need to add the actual item so this is going to be the actual well sign item that we're going to add so this is going to be uh, just under the gem cutter tools that's going to be fine so this is going to be the ebony underscore sign and this is going to be the ebony underscore sign as well there you go now this is of course a sign item and this requires us to put in the normal properties now this is actually should be stacks to 16 because because the signs usually stack to 16 and then we also want to put in the blocks dot the normal sign so this is going to be the sign dot get and then the actual wall sign as well mod blocks wall sign that get there you go and that should be fine so now the actual sign is also registered now we're still going to need the normal translation and uh, all of the json files as well so i'm going to show you the block stays json files first and foremost so this is going to be the ebony wall sign and the ebony sign so both of them need their separate block states json files however they both point to the same block model file Let's first of all add the translation so here interestingly enough we only need a block translation for this particular thing and then we're going to be fine and then we also need the model files so the block model file for the ebony sign like i said they actually point to the same block model file because the only thing that the block model file here actually shows is what particles this particular block uses that's all that there is to it and then for the item model, well, this actually is just a normal item model, like any other item model as well, because the sign, interestingly enough, actually has an item texture here associated with it. So that's going to be that. So let's add the item texture first, and then we're going to talk about the texture that is sort of de being displayed as a block. So this is first and foremost going to be the ebony sign right here. Let's add this. And then what about the sign texture? Well, first of all, the sign texture is actually going to go into the Minecraft folder. So you're going to say, wait, what? Yes. So what we're going to do in the assets folder, we're going to make a new directory called Minecraft, the little game you might have heard about. And inside of it, we're going to make a textures folder. And inside of there, we're going to make a new folder called entity. And then inside of there, we're going to make a new directory called signs, making sure that all of this is written correctly. Double check that. And then we're going to add the ebony PNG right here. Now the name given right here has to match the name given in the mod wood types right here. So this name right here, of course, matches this name right here. I'm going to show you the actual texture from this. So this is the texture that is both being displayed as, you know, in the screen when you actually type something into the sign. And then also this is sort of the 3D model that is then being displayed. So you can go to the external libraries down to all the way here, Minecraft Client Extra 118.2 or whatever your version might be, Assets, Minecraft Textures, entity all the way to the signs so there you go and then you can for example take a look at the acacia sign and you can see it's it's pretty much the same thing as you can see so this is the how the sign basically is being displayed 3d and also for the screen right and those are all of the you know steps that we have to go through like i said there are i mean quite a few of them and th it's very important you know that everything here is added at the correct position basically so this one in the fml comment setup and these two in the client setup very important so make sure that this is all correct. And then for completion sake, let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. As you can see, the ebony sign has been successfully added to the game. And you can see it works as well. So don't forget to subscribe, of course. You know, a little bit of <laughs> self-promotion never hurt anybody. But as you can see, it works. And I can also set it down as a wall sign. You can see this also works totally fine. So, I mean everything working great and yeah as you can see it was quite you know circular but all things considered is actually not that bad to add the custom sign to minecraft right but that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one
I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.